see this movie? What women want? Mel Gibson, Helen Hunt? Brilliant movie. What can Mel Gibson do? He can read women's minds, yeah. He can hear what they're saying. But there's also a subplot in the, in the actual movie itself. So if you remember, there's a girl in the movie and she's not seen. So if you take on Don's example in relation to what he talked about, in relation to our people in their organisations, we don't, they don't, we don't see them, we don't listen to them, we don't hear them. So if you remember in the actual movie itself, he could hear what she was saying in her own mind by way of, nobody sees me, nobody loves me, nobody wants me to be here, I'm just filing files and this is it. So while it was a funny movie, there was also a subplot in it. True? Okay. How often do you actually step into the shoes of your target clients and find out what is that little voice that's going inside in their head? Because that's the most important thing. We all market our own business to our target market from our perspective, not normally from the perspective from our client. So what you have to get in mind in relation to what is their fears? What are their wants? What are they striving to have in life, whether it's relationship, whether it's more money, whether it's to increase their business, whatever it might be, what is it that they are actually looking for? The best thing to think about this from, from a client's perspective is think of, you may have heard in Ireland about the witching hour. So the witching hour is roughly between three or four in the morning, yeah? Everybody's been there. You wake up, you're out of bed, you can't sleep. So you go down, you have a cup of tea. And all you're doing is you're thinking about the worries that you have in your life. Whether you're going to make it through? Where are you going to get the finances from? How are you going to increase your business? How are you going to get more clients? That's the language that your clients are saying to themselves. Not how to take over the world. Because that's not what they're thinking about. They're saying to themselves, how do I get more clients? I have two young kids, well they're not young anymore. One's 20. One's 18. 20 year old is going off to Amsterdam on Monday, so you can imagine how I'm feeling. <laughs> I've been in Amsterdam, I know what it's like. <laughs> but when, when you're young, or maybe you, you go to the park, you go to your local playing, playing park, and you see kids and you see what they're doing, and, and you see a bunch of birds on the ground. And typically, the kids, what they absolutely want to do is they want to catch the birds, yeah? So they run after the birds. Yeah? But what do the birds do? They fly away. When you're chasing clients, what are they doing? They run away. Don't chase. What does the wild old, wise old man do when he's parked on the bench and he wants to attract the birds? What's he do? He throws out a bit of breadcrumb, a bit of bird seed. Okay? The bird seed is something that's of value to your target clients. It's something that your clients absolutely want. Because bear in mind, if you listen to the voice of what the clients are saying at that witching hour, about how do I get more clients? How do I get more paid speaking gigs? And they get a bit of bird seed along their desk and says, how do you get more clients in your business? How do you get more paid speaking gigs? Bird seed is something that's of value, that's answering the question to your target audience. Now you should be very, very selective just like birdseed, whatever birds that you want to attract, for if you want to attract a particular species, you can use particular birdseed. So for your target audience, it's all about identifying what is the target piece of specific birdseed that you want to give to your target audience in order to attract those clients. Because what happens, much like the birds, once they find a bit of free birdseed, they fly off and they tell all their friends. They're saying, there's some geezer over here giving away free birdseed. You must go over there and get some. So they tell everybody else about yourselves in relation to what you're giving away for free. That's of value. It has to be of value. And they will send clients your way. But where do animals naturally congregate? water hole. The watering hole does absolutely nothing, it just sits there. The water just stays there, it appears every single year in the safari, it just appears. And all the animals know instinctively where to go. It doesn't jump up and down, 
It doesn't advertise, it doesn't have any big huge banners, and it certainly does not have Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn, okay? It just stays there. It just bees water. That's all it is. It's something that's of nourishment to the animals. For every single niche that is in an industry, you will absolutely find a watering hole. What's Disney known for? Disney movies. When you think of a Disney movie, happy ending. Yeah? Poltergeist? Merchandise. <laughs> Merchandise, absolutely. Yeah? What else? Family values. Family values. Characters. Characters. Dreams. Dreaming. Yeah, dreams. Yeah, yeah. Quality. Experience. Experience. Merchandising. Merchandising. Produce when you pick. All the time. Yeah. When you pick a DVD, a Disney DVD, and you have to put it on in front of your family, meaning your two-year-old or your five-year-old, or your granny that's in the 90s, you know that there's going to be no embarrassing moments watching that DVD. True? It's a family movie. So there's an element of mystery. There's always good and bad, typically. There's always the element of um, creativity and, and people want to dream bigger and people want to, you know, I'm going to end up being a princess and there's always a happy ending and evil defeats good or the other way around. Good defeats evil. <laughs> Just check it. <laughs> so that's what they're known for. What do you guys want to be known for? You're not speakers. You've got to be known for the result that you're delivering for your clients. So think about it. Stephen Covey seven habits of highly effective individuals. One of his habits was about start with the end in mind. So start with your coaching programs, first of all. Start with your niche market, with who you're actually going after. What is the result that you're delivering for your niche market? And that's what you want to build a reputation for about what it is that you want to get known for. So when everybody refers to Disney or they refer to you as a brand name, they know what you're going to deliver.